hello everyone welcome back so in this video what we are going to do is to pretty much repeat what we have done uh, previously so we got the we got the latitude and and longitude of any city that we are entering as an input now what we are going to do we're gonna use these values as input and then get the weather data such as the temperature summary and we can get also some other uh, data so we're gonna work as well with another API which is dark sky API so the first thing what I'm going to do is to create a rest call okay so I'm gonna click on plus here and then look for rest and make sure here we have connection define connection in line so here I'm gonna just give it a name rest call get temperature and summary of the city okay so this is our title and now I'm gonna just show you what is the API that I'm using the API that I'm using is the following one it's called dark sky net and uh, this is a um, it's right here this is a sample request URL the following one and this is the base URL so I'm gonna take the base URL just put it here right here and then in the resource path I'm gonna put this information okay forecast okay uh, I'd like to make some kind of parentheses uh, like what we need to put actually in the resource path uh, these are not the good example I would say because actually I can put forecast here it should work and in the same way here I can put this lat lawn PHP here it should work so the real I would say the real use of the resource path is to make if we have an API for example we can do a lot of different thing with the same API we can get a lot of different information so I just found an one example that I found uh, that I find interesting so I can explain you quickly for example Google Calendar API and in here on the reference they are providing you the resource path the same API can have different resource path so as you, as you can see here the resource type we do have one for ACL which has the uh, path calendars calendar ID ACL rule ID but if you can see pretty much the, the same URL from for example here calendars calendar ID and do we have events events ID which is actually we are going to work with events so you can see the resource path is changing depending on what you want to do with the API the calendar API it's so big we can do so many things we do have a large amount of resource path so this one probably it's giving you more sense when we talk about resource path is actually if you have a bigger uh, API like Google Calendar and you can work with events you can work with the ACL you can work with the calendars and we call as well we can work with channels and so on so we do have different resource path for each each of them so we don't have that much of a uh, thing we cannot do that much of thing in here we're gonna just take the uh, temperature or summary or some other information so I would for now I would prefer to put forecast right here and then put the rest of the information here as well so what we have next so I can close this one we have the key latitude and the longitude okay the key is the one that it's provided by dark sky API uh, so I all you need to do is to have an account here and if you click on console you're gonna get the key so I'm gonna just copy this key and then put it right in my uh, resource path and then what we need is the latitude so we're gonna make use of the data pairs that we have just I'm gonna drop it here and here is a comma and then longitude so it's pretty fast this one all we need to do is to put the base URL right here your key you're gonna get your own key and then make use of the latitude and longitude data payoffs in order to 
just drag and drop here into the sweet spot and make sure you have get as method we don't need to create any query uh, parameters or headers but this is fair enough so i'm going to just save it and see what's going to happen if i enter any cd great so let me just make sure that i wrote properly so slash slash okay great so let's go here and then do a test let me type a small cd and check a little bit okay let's view the results so it's completed so the first step is done the second step where we parse uh, you know to get the uh, longitude and latitude is done here we are getting the temperature and the sun rate. Uh, so I have the response value as you can see here and I have the status code which is 200. So it is successful, we got the result, we can click right here and we have a big amount of the data. And that is because this, that is what is given by, by Dark, Dark Sky API. So I can go back to the doc documentation and show you what kind of response that we can get. This is the whole response that we get for a, for a city. So it's kind of huge. So what we need is the temperature is the one right here and summary, which means what kind of days that we have on that particular city. So the way we access the information is we're going to make this one as a, this JSON format as exploitable JavaScript objects so we can access them currently dot summary to get this value currently dot temperature to get the following value okay so let's now write our script okay this is the second step where we're going to parse the information so we do have our response body here our status quo and let's create our script create our variable and the first variable is going to be response body which I'm going to drag and drop here the response body that we have here rest called get temperature and not from here and then I'm going to create another one which is going to be status quo and then put the status code right here okay our script it goes inside here I'm gonna just copy paste the script that we have already wrote because it's not going to change uh, only few information we are going to change so I'm gonna just copy that one paste it here I don't need to I need I just need to output that post I'm gonna delete this one it's not latitude that we need it's summary and it's not longitude it's it's temperature okay and now here it's not results but currently and I'm going to have here summary same thing I'm going to do here is going to be currently and not summary but temperature okay let's create now our output variables so these ones so summary So now what we are going to do is to create one more some the output variables not for this specific we have already created output variable for this script 
we're gonna let's uh, I forgot to give the title let's do that parse we are going to create the output variable for the action itself we do have one input variable location where we enter the city but after the all step is done what we get finally out of the action so we can use them out of out of here somewhere else in service now so I'm going to click here and then Edit output. The first one is going to be, for example, capital letter to make it different city. And here I'm going to put in small letter city. It's going to be string. And then I'm going to create another one, which I'm going to call summary. And here a summary as well. Okay, I'm going to create another one, which is going to be a temperature. Okay, I do have a problem with my login, so let me just connect quickly in here and hopefully I didn't lost anything. So I forgot this thing. Studio room weather. wait to see if it is saved something I, I'm not sure if I save something let's pray okay great so I do have I just need to change the title Parse. this one okay so let's go here create our output the first one is the city the city the second one is summary summary here third one is going to be temperature and the last one let's say is the time zone time zone great so this is going to be a string string uh, decimal Okay, activate them, activate them. I'm gonna exit mode. Now I can drag and drop all the data bills that I need where we have the values that we want. So I want the, uh, the city, so I'm gonna just drop it here. I want the summary, I want the temperature, I want the time zone. And let's save that. So this is, these are outputs from the action. Okay, so we're gonna test it right now and see if we get a result. So I'm gonna test for Paris, for example, and see if we're gonna get the weather, the temperature of Paris right now. So, boom. So I do have something not correct. Cannot read properties on your phone. Anyway, cannot read properties on your phone. Okay, where we have these in the last step okay I'm gonna close this one parse uh, summary temperature response body country now let me 
quickly check what we have in here. Summary. got the error because we have we haven't changed one thing which is we don't need this one. okay that's a problem here we don't need it's not an array we save it great I'm gonna test now let's go to Paris Okay, as you can see now, I have the city, Paris, with the country. Summary is what kind of day that we have in Paris right now. It's a clear sky. Temperature is 51 uh, Fahrenheit. And time zone is Europe, Paris. Great, we got, we have done our, our we have created our action. We, now what we are going to do as a next step is we're gonna use, we're gonna, this action can be triggered when, for example, we have a table in ServiceNow and you create a record in, or you update a record, you can trigger an action. So this is kind of a process that you have and you can do that. But what I want is to trigger this action which can give a result by entering an input as a city. In a city, we gonna, we want them from a script. So I'm going to use a script which is, I'm gonna publish this one because I have done with that. And uh, we have the script, the, the entire script which is executing this action in order to have the result. So I have it right here, Chrome code snippet. And I do have the script in here. I'm gonna use some part of this script in order to create what I call script include. Okay, so that's going to be our next video. See you. Bye.